Lightfall's ending can be quite confusing at first, especially since it's not directly explained when you watch what happens. In today's video, we're going to explain the end of Lightfall's story, the Veil's connection, what the witness did to Ghost, and the death of the Traveler. After a quick battle on Earth, we ventured to Neomuna on Neptune with Osiris. Osiris knows, thanks to Savathun's visions, that the Witness is looking for something on Neptune. Now we know it's called the Veil. Callus is the head of this new dark army, the Shadow Legion. He wants glory and power, and the Witness could really care less, using Callus to achieve its own agenda here. You hold the universe in your grasp, and all you can think of to do with it is... Secure the Veil. We will create the link. Infinite apologies. The veil is yours. It will be dark. During the story, we find Callus has something called the Radial Mast, a pyramid device that creates light, paracausal energy. The plan is to use this radial mast near the veil, take the light source near the veil and connect it to the traveler. There's something strange here too. A powerful concentration of light energy? Something's not right here. Wait. A source of paracausal energy? It could be the radial mast. I still can't believe my sensors. Could the radial mast really be a light artifact? There's still a great deal we don't know. What is the radial mast capable of? How will it affect the veil? What is the witness planning? We try several times to destroy this thing. First, we fail and Keitel helps us escape. And the second time, Rohan, the mentor Cloud Strider, sacrifices himself to destroy the radial mast. <laughs> Rohan, he... He chose a Cloud Strider's end. Here, things get interesting. The Witness and Callus must improvise, something that's not really explained. They go ahead with their plan anyway, attack this vault that houses the Veil. They don't have any radial mast, but of course the Guardian would come to defend this vault, and boom, stage set. Throughout this story, the Witness mentions that Soul's protectors can't do anything to stop it. Some foreshadowing for what we would see in the end cutscene. Guardian, I don't... This doesn't feel right. The veil? It's worse than before. Much worse. Ah! My witness. Yes. We know they are here. A few of Soul's protectors cannot prevent fate. The witness will see me! What's wrong, Osiris? Get your ghost out of there! Finality takes shape. It's creating the link! At long last. Destroy it!
just happened? We just lost. Zavala, come in. This being of darkness has spoke through Ghost before, but this time it takes control, using its light to connect the veil to the Traveler instead of the radial mast. So the whole goal is to use an artifact of the light to access this mysterious veil, connecting to the Traveler unlocking some mysterious portal. The veil isn't explained unfortunately well, which seemed to be the whole point of the campaign, which is kind of depressing, but there are some interesting points. Ghost compares the veil to the Traveler, saying it's similar, and whatever this veil was may have had a big impact during the first collapse, possibly even protecting the Traveler. In Witch Queen, we learn Savathun was there during the collapse and saved us, rather saved the Traveler from the Witness, but this veil might have had a role to play in that. But in turn, Osiris gained access to hers. Savathun had rebelled against the Witness and hid what might be our only chance of defeating it away on the planet Neptune. We don't know how this veil got here. Was it created by Ishtar? Was it here all along? Did Savathun hide it? We're unsure. But during that first collapse, the Witness didn't have this veil, so no final shape. Now, here in Lightfall, it finds it, connects to the Traveler, making it whole possibly, and maybe that's what worked this time, allowing this final shape to begin, dragging Blackfleet Pyramids and the Witness inside this portal near the Traveler. We're told the Pale Heart was the key, maybe the key to the Traveler and unlocking this final shape. Was the Pale Heart the Veil? Arming. This has happened before with the Witness speaking through our ghost, but controlling it is something new. Has our ghost been a spy device all along? I hope not, but what suddenly changed to give the witness control over it? Maybe the effects of the veil itself. This connection to the Traveler allows the witness to carve an opening, a portal which it enters with the Black Fleet Pyramids. Is this the beginning of the final shape? What exactly all of this did is a mystery, unfortunately, as most things are in this Lightfall expansion, but we can speculate. The Witness says, The universe makes us all victim, and perpetrator of its infinite cruelty. You, more than any, suffer both fates. Be free. We thought the final shape to be nothing, no light, no dark, if Sabathun's words were correct. The Witness says, be free, and we could assume it's speaking to the Traveler, but maybe it's something else. After this end scene, Zavala and Ikora react as if the Traveler is dead, unable to help, move, or protect, give off powers at all. Should I feel humbled by this sacrifice? Relieved that it can't grant any more of our enemies the light? Lost? without a god in whom I can place my trust. Guardian, the Traveler is gone, but we're still here. It may seem small, but it's no less important under the circumstances. Despite your triumphs against the former Emperor, the Witness has transformed the Traveler and gone somewhere we cannot follow. Work with the Cloud Striders. Learn what you can about the Veil. 
a step at a time, an inch at a time. We keep going. So, is the Traveler truly dead, or maybe in a dormant state once more? The Witness has entered some portal to achieve this final shape, but that remains a mystery, maybe to another timeline, inside the Traveler itself, we are not sure. The point of this video is explaining what we know about the ending of Lightfall. I'm gonna make another video diving into more theories surrounding the Veil, what it might be, and how it connects to the Traveler, but if you have theories of your own, be sure to leave them in the comments. Anyway, that's all we got for today's video. Lightfall's story was kind of flat in some moments, not even revealing the big parts of the campaign, not answering those big questions, but hopefully we'll get some answers soon. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.